Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Star Trek Online. We are playing the Federation side. The colour scheme in Star Trek Online is all blue. There is no orange or red anymore. We are not on the Klingon side. We are playing Starfleet. It's acknowledging that I've played through the tutorial before and given me the option to skip. But I want to be a Delta recruit. So I'm going to play the tutorial. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. So basically, it, the, the biodegradable waste matter is hitting the fan from every angle. This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? A bit pompous, saluting and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and here I am. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Okay, so there's Elisa Flores attracting my attention, but before I do anything, I am going to change something because I want to thing move. I don't use the like W, A, S, and D keys to look around. Hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. The default key setup. There we go. That'll do. I don't like W, A, S, and D. I prefer Q, W, E, S. People you can interact with have icons above their head. Yep. Talk to Cadet Elisa Flores. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. <laughs> ah, he's Saurian. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. 
And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Okie dokie. There she is over there. Greetings. Uh, Rasky said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Okay, I have a little bit of a problem with this bit of text. It says, if you, it was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I'm not aware of schools that allow you to retake final exams. That's just weird. <coughs> anyway. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Hmm. Your mini map Morik. shows you where your objectives are. And oh, you hush up, you stupid tutorial thing. Blah, 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 blah. Here it goes. There's Morek. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. No. Oh. Okay. Go and find Lieutenant Ferrer. There's a glowing map on my glowing circle on my mini map in this direction, so he'll be in here. Mainly because he's also in here all the time in the main Starfleet Academy map when you're not in the tutorial. Good afternoon, Cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training cruise assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? D84. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is that a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Uh-oh. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Let's ring the bell. Hey. Come. It's like Captain Picard's door chime. There we go, Captain... Taggart. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. Is the English accent a sort of homage to Picard, perhaps? Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. I'm not a tactical officer, sir. I concentrated on courses for my career track. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No exceptions. Hang on. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. Oh, I'll ask cool. my tactical officer to set it up. Tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another Vine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Oh, it's her. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to go find Elisa Flores again. Oh, whoops, missed the door. <laughs> the good thing that's not real life. <laughs> do, 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 do. She was way down here. She's not there anymore because there's an eye on my map that's round here. Where is she? She's moved. There she is. She's got a pad. Look like you're busy. Always a good plan. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? 
I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. No, you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up Where on Captain Taggart's ship. Where did the pod disappear ship. to? She was holding a pod, it just vanished. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Wait, where's Boothby? To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Me. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. I knew you were going to say that. That's why I started running before she did. Ah, ha, ha, I win. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. I'm going to need a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one there. Okay. Press the B key to scan the area. Blah, blah. Alright then, let's go and find a phaser first. Uh, oh, shiny locker there. Phaser pistol. Ding ding. The pistol has been automatically equipped. Good, thank you very much. Holodeck 2. Uh, oh, that'll be that one straight ahead. There's a big sign above the door saying Holodeck 2. Move to the center of the room. Okie dokie. Begin the program. I be on a Klingon chip. In combat, right click on a target to fire your weapon. Oh, screw that. Just start firing. Use a tab key to target. Doink. Doink. Hey. Uh, what? Hey? What? Um. Okay. According to the Star Trek Online website, you're supposed to have a temporal agency contact. They didn't mention that it would be yourself. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I am you from your future. And I've come back in time to tell you information you're going to need in the future. I don't quite understand everything myself, but I remember talking to me when I was standing in your shoes, so I knew I had to do this. Okay, no, I don't think Flora. Well, Flora's might be the cursed person. Well, let's assume I believe you. Me. You. Just as accepting and easy as I remember being. That's good. Always give people a chance to surprise you. You'll even meet Romulans who want to do the right thing. If you have any nagging doubts, you can always check with Temporal Investigations after you talk to Admiral Quinn when you receive your first command, which I should probably stop talking about now before I give too much away. Are you ready to hear what I have to say? Okay. What is it that you want me to know? Let's get down to business. There's a war coming. An ancient race known as the Iconians once ruled huge areas of space, including this one. They had the power of gods, technology far beyond what anyone else had. It took all of the Iconians' enemies rising up against them as one to defeat them. We thought they were extinct. Now we know we were wrong and they've returned to take back everything that was once theirs. That's where you come in. Me? What makes me special? Most of Starfleet's officers had no opportunity to gather intelligence on this race, their capabilities and their possible plans, but I did. Throughout your career, you, we, will benefit from the knowledge I'll give you today. When the war with the Iconians comes, the galaxy will have a fighting chance, thanks to what you've learned. That's why I've come back, so I will know what to do. Okay, so what do I need to know? I can't just drop everything on you at once. That would cause a paradox. You'll still need to locate all the information yourself. I'll help guide you. Oh, well, guide me? How? Take this. It's a Tesseract communication device. It allows me one-way communication from the future to you. There'll be updates throughout that device as you progress through your career. Check it often. I think I've taken up as much of your time as I can. 
Flores and Captain Taggart are waiting for you. He... Thank you, um, you handsome devil. While in combat, you are now a Delta recruit. You have a Once unique you trait combat, that gives more bonus dilithium ore to you and available. your teammates. Okay, two tooltips at once. That was interesting. As a Delta recruit, you will be able to earn many additional rewards as you complete later missions. Cool. Let's exit the simulation. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Well done, cadet. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. So what's this item? Tesseract communications receiver. Cool. Is that a device? Do I need to equip it? No, okay, so it just sits in my inventory. Okay then. Right, him. Ooh. There's my ship, the USS Gregory de Polney. Doctor Who fans won't get the reference here, I'd imagine. Well, they'll maybe get that one, but not that one. Well, you know, right away. Okay, thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! Wait, me? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Of course I do. I'm an admiral in about a year's time. Thank you, sir. It'll be an honour serving with you. Game time, that's going to be about two weeks. <laughs> Let's talk to Cadet Elisa Flores. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. What can I say? The captain sees greatness in me. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. I won't. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Okie dokie. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Yeah, you shut up, you stupid computer. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Do 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 do. Turbo left to shuttle bay. Okay. I'll Hello? Okay. All of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Okay, let's make Tavrell cry. A Vulcan. How do you make a Vulcan cry? I suppose I'll have to give it a shot. Okay, lead a toast. Let's be humble. On the first day of class, four years ago, I looked into the mirror and thought, there is no way I can do this. I know I wasn't the only one. Continue to be humble. I look around this room and see fear and uncertainty in your eyes. Being responsible for so many lives is a heavy burden. Who wrote this? Trash. Still, show humility. All I ask is that we support one another. If we can work as a team, we can accomplish our goals. To Starfleet Academy, to the USS Gregory de Polney, to our crew. Raise a glass to the class of 2409. All cadets, please board your shuttles. And I obviously don't make Tavel cry. Nope. She's the old communications officer. Zarva's Engineering Chief, what's Rasky? Security Chief! Who's he anyway? I don't know who he is. Asher Moss. Okay, Cadet Morek. Where's the Medical Officer? Ann Potter. Helmsman! Hey! Okay, let's go and get done the shuttle. Are you ready to head to the ship? Another British person. <laughs> let's go! I can't 
can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. Not but here's ship. our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She is a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Uh oh. So we are late. Someone turn the lights off. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, gee, you guys talk to Elisa Flores again? I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Alright, ho. That's a big shuttle, B. That's a lot of shuttles. Excuse me. Oh dear. Okay. Lieutenant Brickers? Name and position? Cadet D84, acting first officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Where is the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Okay. Let's go to the bridge. And talk to Captain Taggart. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. Yeah, well, sounds like another reference back to Picard. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Okay, Tavel, great clearance from traffic control for the Gregory Polney to leave the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Excellent. Very good, number one. Oh, Flores, send a signal to close the shuttle bay shuttle doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Hey. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Release the tractor moorings. And back to Captain Taggart. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. That's a reference back to Star Trek II, I believe. To sit, right-click on the chair you wish to sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrel. Uh -oh. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir, part of the training crews? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. 
It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? It's a bit suspicious. Um, scanning for an alert to see what the situation is. No, I don't think so. Red alert seems a bit too over the top. Shields up, sir. Better safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yep, it could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Okay. Break even should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. Uh-oh. So it was a trap. Come in, what happened? Rack! Stop! Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. Great. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Okay. Yes, sir. There's the armory over there. Frantically weaving to get my attention. Okay. Go to the armory locker in this room and interact with it to get a better weapon. A sniper rifle. Which actually you can does switch less between two yes. equipped weapons by pressing Z. Blah 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 blah. I'm quite happy with the, the little pistol. I think I know actually. No, I'll go with the rifle. spray you can use this to quickly heal any damage you may have okay okay I can't go through that way now obviously there's a big hole in the ship oh gee whiz let's go this way you oh, can do extra damage room. to enemies by flanking them try attacking your enemies on their sides or behind them best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I can improve the ship's structural integrity field. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Okay, let's go. Klingons! Shoot the Klingons! Ooh, <laughs> that was pretty fancy. I like that. Press C to crouch. Crouching is a defensive bonus. Okay, I'll crouch. Press X 
attacks to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. Okay, reinforce the structural integrity field. There's going to be three places from which I have to do this now. Oh, there's the third one. up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye, Go sir. see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Okay, good. Now, it's been uh, seen that uh, I'm an engineering character. I decided D84 would be engineering as well as Kolos, so we could see the difference in engineering ships uh, on both sides. To the bridge. Help oh, defeat Klingon boarders. Yep, so the Klingons have boarded the ship. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chant. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Hmm. <laughs> Never. Perhaps your captain will change. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky! It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Holy smokes! Make me proud! They killed him! We have target lock, Captain. Fire! And of course, a cloaked Klingon ship doesn't have shields. Direct hit! Casualties on all decks! Shields! Shields! Fire our weapons! Weapons and shields are offline! Ah! Cloak and begin repair! <laughs> We've lost their signal. What now? Let's 
speak with Elisa Flores. We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. The ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. So, I'm going to take my seat in the captain's chair. Elisa Flores is now your bridge officer. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. Well, we're going to end this first video there, and we'll pick up in the next video and see how this tutorial continues. We're now out into space.